Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice math Olympiad geometry problem. And here we have a right triangle in which the length of the sides of triangle are x, x cube and x square. So you know that this is the right angle and this is the any other angle. So here uh, we very well know about the right triangle in which the one angle is 90 so that the side opposite to the uh, right angle is known as its hypotenuse and the side which join these two angles is known as the base and the side and the third side is called its perpendicular or altitude so that here uh, our target is to find the value of x so that so, uh, uh, so here we apply the nice uh, pythagorean theorem so that according to this pythagorean theorem we write or we state this theorem in this way hypotenuse square equals to base square plus perpendicular square so now you focus in the question uh, in the given diagram so we have our hypotenuse is x cube so we write it here x cubed square equals to our base is x and it is x square plus perpendicular is x square and its whole square so in the next step we simplify the terms and we write it as x to the power of 6 equals to x square plus x to the power of 4 and now we again rearrange the terms and we move all the terms from right hand side to the left hand side and we get x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 4 minus x square equals to 0 so that uh, in the next step we just take common x square from these terms and we write it as x square times of x to the power of 4 minus x square minus 1 equals to 0. So that here we have two cases. Our first case is we take x square equals to 0 and our second case is we take x to the power of 4 minus x square minus 1 equals to 0. So now in the next step you first focus on the first case and in the first case we have x square equals to 0. So when we take the square root on both of the sides then you obtain x equals to 0. But here you see that our x be the base of this right triangle. So we know that the length of any side of triangle uh, should not be 0. So that we cannot choose x equals to 0 and we will reject this case. And now we proceed here this case only. And in this case we need to find the factors of this equation so that first we write this equation as x square and its whole square minus x square minus 1 equals to 0. And now we convert this equation into quadratic form so that we take here y equals to x square. So when we substitute this x square by y then we get its output in this way y square minus y minus 1 equals to 0. So now this will becomes in quadratic form and now we use here the quadratic formula in order to find the values of x. So that first we write the coefficients of this equation and we have a equals to 1, b equals to minus 1 and c equals to minus 1. And our quadratic formula will be looks like in this form y equals to minus b 
प्लस माइनस स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ बी स्क्वेयर माइनस फोर टाइम्स ऑफ ए सी डिवाइडेड बाय टू टाइम्स ऑफ ए एंड नाउ वी सब्सटिट्यूट ऑल द वैल्यूज ऑफ ए बी एंड सी इन दिस क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्मूला सो नाउ वी सब्सटिट्यूट ऑल द वैल्यूज हियर एंड वी गेट वाई इक्वल्स टू माइनस बी एंड वी हैव द वैल्यू ऑफ बी इज माइनस वन प्लस माइनस स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ बी स्क्र सो आवर बी स्क्र इज माइनस वन स्क्र माइनस फोर टाइम्स ऑफ ए इज वन एंड सी इज माइनस वन डिवाइडेड बाय टू टाइम्स ऑफ ए एंड आवर ए इक्वल्स टू वन सो दैट इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी सिंप्लीफाई दी टर्म्स एंड वी हैव वाई इक्वल्स टू माइनस टाइम्स ऑफ माइनस बिकम्स प्लस एंड प्लस माइनस स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ माइनस वन स्क्वेयर इक्वल्स टू प्लस वन एंड दिस माइनस टाइम्स ऑफ माइनस विल बिकम्स प्लस फोर डिवाइडेड बाय टू एंड नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी अगेन मेक लिटिल बिट सिंप्लीफिकेशन एंड वी हैव वन प्लस माइनस स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ वन प्लस फोर इज फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय टू and we divide this case in two cases so our first case is we write y equals to positive term and in second case we write the negative term minus square root 5 divided by 2 and now we substitute the value of y or we back substitute the value of y so we have our y equals to x square so when we substitute the value of x square here then we obtain its output in this form x square equals to 1 plus square root 5 over 2 and in this case x square equals to 1 minus square root 5 over 2 but here you see that this value gives the negative answer so when we in order to find the value of x we need to take the square root on both of the sides So when you take the square root on both of the side, it will gives the complex roots. But here we find the real value of x because our x is the side length of the right triangle. So that we will rejected this case, and we just proceed here this case only. And in this case, we again take the square root on both of the sides, and we obtain just positive value. because when you take the square root we take the positive and negative value but here we take just positive value and its reason is that we because x be the sides length of the triangle so it cannot be negative because the length cannot be negative so we choose only positive value so you have x equals to in this form 1 plus square root 5 over 2 and its whole square root so that when you take the uh, use the calculator and you can easily find the value of this expression and uh, i will just write approximately this value equals to 1.272 and this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos